did you come from? Well, I had a little hell. Surprise! My darling! Every oh my day God. of your absence oh, has felt like you a so decade, much. every decade a century. Let's fuck. These guys are still here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. I also learned not to trust my father, or anyone else for that matter. And that took centuries with my Nadia to unravel. Okay. There's still a tree in the fucking fancy room! Hey, give my brand boy a chance. What are you talking about? This was his chance! Guys! Which is what we are doing. I'm sorry, but I don't know how watching 15 episodes of these two dimwits installing kitchen islands in other people's homes is going to help us fix our house. Yep. My darling, Bran and Toby are brothers with a keen eye on interior decor. They turn the most mundane property from shabby uh, to chic. Mm. You sure you don't want to protect your precious books by putting them into storage so they don't get damaged by my blood sprinklers? Blood sprinklers? What do you mean that baby Colin is not performing? He goes on every night at 3 a.m. I know, my darling, but things have changed. The nightclub is extraordinarily successful, and we both know why. So his contract must reflect that. He doesn't have a contract. Au contraire. I drew one up this morning. Uh. A for effort on the whole looking human aspect, but no. Go upstairs and change it to whatever your least vampire vampire attire is. Well, that is this. Yes. That is this. This is that. Yeah, well, it's a great story. Thank you. But, uh, darling, why haven't we finished fucking, you might ask yourself. Well, the answer is, it's because we haven't managed to start yet. Do excuse us. <laughs> also, we do not need a wall of hat hooks. Lazo only has one hat, and it's bloody cursed! Correction, my darling, I have five hats. Now, the one she's referring to, which she doesn't like for some unknown reason, oh. is actually very cool. I'm sure it is. It might be made out of witch skin and has an arsehole on it, but I look fantastic wearing it. And another is a... I shouldn't be surprised. All you ever do is slay about, or tinkle on your piano, or have sex with Nadia wherever and whenever you please. How is that an insult? Sounds to me like life goals achieve me, old fruit. You're... Yes, this is the one that goes to the night market. Come on. Come on, boy. I'm Come going. Are you sure about this? This it looks like a rape. My darling, if it wasn't for this boy, your club would be as dead as disco. And guess what? 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 All I want to do is sing and dance and make people smile. I don't even really hmm. care about all this oh. contract baloney. No, 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 no. He doesn't know what he's saying. So, do we have a deal? Um, let me just have a little think. I'll mull it over. All right. What is this made of? Fuck no! In fact, there's so much love, apparently you're with Mandor now, and Laz doesn't mind. I mean, you know, it's no judgment. What's the word for what you guys are? It's... Polyamorous? Oh, I was thinking filthy hippies, but, uh, like I said, no judgment, right, Mr. Warren? Fuck's sake! Of course this is a disaster. He knows we're married, my darling. Let's just say that I am the mother and Lazo is the father. But who am I going to be? You're the groundskeeper now! Keep up! Uh... Make sure you look after my wife. What? Ah! No! Mamma Mia is my favorite, favorite film to watch when I am missing my homeland. But Laszlo never lets me watch it. He says, my darling, I can't watch that. It reminds me of all the bastard children I fathered when I was a human. Well, maybe you should tell your heart to think of something. It's all right, my darling. I think I can deal with this. So, logically, you're prepared for change, yet your inner uncontrollable emotions are resisting. Would I be right? What? I think I can fix her. Oh, Richie! Sonia! Oh, courageous! Don't my wife in the neck. Neck. It's My witch's skin hat. Who gives a sh? You mean this witch's skin hat? Oh! <laughs> Simon the Devious. I knew it was you, you bastard. No, you didn't. No. What's the why I've returned from London? Yeah, you can tell me later. It'll wait. My work with the Worldwide Supreme Vampiric Council was so challenging, but also fulfilling, you know? and. And I gave it all up. I had to. Because I missed you so much, my wide lover. Your words move my heart. <laughs> you are a naughty bloody boy. You were supposed to come with me to London, but you just packed me up and shipped me off. My darling, I had to look after the boy. I wrote you. Yes, yes, about the creature that crawled out of the cavity of dead Colin Robinson's chest. I understand, I guess. Speak of the devil. Hello, is that you, little one? Not That's not home. him. Are you sure? Yes, that's a raccoon, my darling. They've taken residence in the library. Oh. The boy himself is upstairs asleep. Well, perfect, then. Yeah. I want to peel you like a potato and mash your insides. Come on. OK. <laughs> Watch your step, my darling. The water damages <laughs> the wood. Not this wood. <laughs>
Oh, wow. Look oh. at you. <laughs> Hello, darling. That was the baby Colin Robinson, I assume? Mm. No. That came from the body of Colin Robinson, but it's something completely different in Ireland. Oh, man. We'll be all over that later. Going to bore you with a long speed. You really should have figured this out before they came. Who are we going to say the parents are? Let's just say that I'm the mother and you are the father. Good idea. That won't work, my darling. I've already told him I'm the boy's uncle. Shit. Fine. I will be the father. I'm looking like that? Yes. Better than nothing. Well, look at him. Let's go get over it. Come on. Out, Nango! Sorry. As you can see, another patient cured and returned to perfect mental health. Yes, she seems very well now, doesn't she? Not yet. Well done, my love. Indeed. It all started actually when my mom was trying to set me up with her church friend's niece, and just mm -hmm. to get her off my back, I'd said I was dating Naja. Please don't tell Laszlo. I think he thinks it's weird that it's not just me and Nandor. Matthew. Well, I think it's weird he wants you two alone in a room. Oh, I've forgotten how handsome a vampire the Baron is. Oh, yes, he's absolutely delicious. I must confess, we had a little quickie in the cloakroom after the ceremony. As good as you remember? Oh, so much better. All right, well, then don't mind if I do. Oh, enjoy, my love. Oh. Right, well. <laughs> I say there, Baron. Fantastic to see you return to your former glory. I have been wanting to have a private word with... You, Laszlo, if you would be so good as to meet me in the coat room five minutes. Oh, yes. I think I can manage that. Uh, oh. We're in f***ing Staten Island. Which means you're not worth sh You come in here, you pinch my hat, you destroy my house, and you con me into spending $2,000 on these poofs. Two thousand? I like the poofs. Does no one like the poofs? I don't mind the poofs. But you see, you're a dickhead because you've just shown your face on screen, which means this episode, Brainiac, cannot be televised. Good boy. <laughs> ah, there he is. Yes. I found him! Okay, I found him! He's giving me sweet little kisses. No, my <laughs> darling, I don't know what you've got out there, but he's in here. Oh, OK. Never mind. It's just another raccoon. <laughs> OK. Did them over the last 12 years. Ooh. A bit of sass from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, now we are all friends again and we are breaking each other's balls. No, that's really not what's going on here. Well, Experiment. are you two having sex again? Well, I'm not breaking a cake, man. No. It would be so much more enjoyable if you would stop interrupting! Or you uh, could join in, old chap. Come on. Room at the back. I'm tempted, but uh, I'll leave you guys to it and just watch if that's all right. OK. Yes, I'm good. Really you might have to calm this down, my darling. I'm not sure this city can take it. This city uh, has taken so much for you to want to know. Are you okay? Oh, oh. You want me to throw you down the candle? Oh, oh. Fuck me! Okay, here I go. <laughs> They're at it again. Are you ready, darling? Drown me, my darling. It's hot, yeah? Okay, I know what's going on here. It's as clear as day. This motherfucker is a star fucker. What? No, I don't think that's what he meant. Yes, that is what these schools want. They want the famous parents so they can be like, burr, burr, I couldn't possibly say anything, but Lionel fucking Barrymore's kids might just go here. Burr, burr. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do very yeah, nice. I'm as stiff as a board. Mm, boxes and shit. Been arriving for my wife for weeks. I do mean to send them on to London, but I've been too busy murdering these gas employees that they insist on sending round. Later, losers! Oh, me! Stupid prick can't even fly. It's the Hat. It's not the hat. I reckon that hat's got some bad hoodoo in it, huh? There's nothing wrong with the hat, Elvis! Oh. Later, losers! Oh. And that's a wrap on the mix. I could replace him in a second. Well, good luck with that. I've had the owner of the hottest vampire nightclub on the phone to me day and night, and he's not the only one. So you're actually going to leave? Looks that way, doesn't it? Come on, boy. Let's take your talents upstate. Albany and Binghamton, to be more precise, but got to start somewhere. <laughs> What do you require from the night market, my darling? Oh, you know, just a special little something to help try and solve my rape labour problem. Well, it's clear that our best days are behind us. My darling! <gasps> Bless you! I thought of a way of saving the clown. Oh. I've heard about this amazing clown that can suck himself dry. 
want to conclude by saying I think all marriage is a sham, apart from my own marriage, to my darling wife, Naja, over there. <laughs>